Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you are doing great. In today's video, we are going to discuss a new topic. And the name of the topic is pothole. I hope you must have seen many potholes on the road while crossing them, while driving on them. Yes, these are quite dangerous, right? Yes, let's discuss this story. And this story is about a girl. But first, we are going to discuss vocabulary words before getting into the story so that it will be easier for us to pronounce those words while reading them. Alright, let's move on. Pothole Compose Gaping. It's not gapping. It's gaping. Rags. Peered. Sheltering. Stuck. Swerve. Victim. Blazing. Oncoming. Gathered. Now, the objectives of this story, pothole, is that this story is about a girl, a young girl, who is very intelligent and was very kind and gentle as well. Her name was Faiza. Now, let's see what has she done. Well, everybody, she used to live across the road and she noticed that these potholes like everywhere on the road are creating a lot of mess for people. All right. So these are very dangerous. And because of these potholes, the road itself is becoming so dangerous that it is leading towards so many accidents. Right. And people are facing a lot of issues because of those potholes. Now, let's discuss and read the chapter to get to know what is this story thoroughly. Okay? So, Faiza looked out of her bedroom's window. Another car was stuck in the road. The driver and an older man were changing one of the front wheels. Faiza watched as the men worked in a blazing sunshine. The woman and two children were sitting beside the road under a tree, sheltering from the sun. Now this young girl, which I mentioned earlier, Faiza, when she looked outside of her bedroom window, she noticed that again there is a problem, there is a car accident, the car is stuck just because of potholes. and. There was not only single driver inside the car, there were, there were a woman and children as well now who are waiting to get their car out of the pothole and they are waiting in a blazing sunshine under a shade of a tree, right? So here we have read a word blazing which means extremely hot, very hot. Faiza switched on her computer. She opened her calendar and began making notes on a sheet of paper. So many accidents in just two weeks, said Faiza to herself. Something must be done. The road is too dangerous for the children of kindergarten next door. Dangerous. Dangerous means risky. Now she was fed up because of the road every day's issue and especially the accidents and one more thing she was very concerned for was the children of kindergarten who may get into the trouble because of those potholes now she is she was making notes and making notes and writing everything and mentioning and keeping the record that what is happening because of those potholes Faiza looked out of the window again. The men had fixed the wheel and were wiping their heads on some old racks. The women and children were inside the car. Soon the car drove away. 
the big pothole in the road like a gaping mouth waited darkly for its next victim Faiza returned to her computer and wrote a letter now when she was writing the notes using her computer what happened the people outside the window which she noticed now when she saw they have done the work they have changed the tire they have brought the car out of the out, outside of the pothole and now they were going and wiping the other person was wiping the hand with some old rag rag means hanky hanky handkerchief small piece of cloth right so now she noticed that although these people are safe they are going wherever they wanted to but still there is a pot hole like a gaping mouth like a open hole like a dinosaur waiting for its target to eat them swallow them right so she turned to back to her computer and started writing a letter let's see what type of letter is she writing a week went by three weeks went by faiza waited every day for a reply to her letter no reply came every day faiza made a new entry in her accident logs auto stuck cyclist falls into gutter man injured baskets fall into the road lorry had punctured that's enough she said faiza like everyone faiza was fed up she said i am not waiting any moment longer because every day because of those potholes every single person using that road was having a lot of trouble in their life right so she said i am not going to wait any longer so everybody she wrote a letter to a municipal committee or anyone in government anyone in charge and she wanted a reply from them she wanted them to come back on the road the taxes which people pay they have to use the people in government or municipal they have to use those taxes people's money and spend on people but nobody was bothering at all right so that sucked her she was like i am not going to wait any longer i have to do something on my own so let's see what she has done faiza found a basket and filled it up with soil from her garden she packed some compost into a bag she carefully dug out a few small flowering shrubs and put them in a bag she filled an old watering can with water then she found three long lengths of wood and some board pens now she had collected everything possible everything in her hand everything that she found in her house and now she was planning to fill those pot holes by making them and use a small kind of garden into them so that people will get free of those issues of those troubles they are facing every day because of those stupid potholes and no one even bothering now she placed the item near her front door back in her room faiza found three large sheets of card she began to write and draw on them in the evening faiza collected all the things and took them out onto the side of the road she fixed two of the sheets of card to two pieces of wood she propped them up with stones at each end of the road the sign said road closed now everybody after collecting all the shrubs and compost which she she was about to use to make a garden she also used one other thing she has made a sign a mark for road closed so that everyone get to know that this particular garden is actually dangerous it was actually a pothole so no one is going to put it under and drag it under their cars right so faiza went back to the big pothole and emptied the basket of soil into it she added the compost and mixed it all together she planted the shrubs and watered them 
Then she pushed the third piece of wood into the soil and pinned the last sheet of cardboard to it. On it was a colorful sign. Faiza removed the road clothes sign and went home. She looked out of the window. There was no pothole in the road now. Now what has she done? Yes, she has used some composed soil, shrubs and a sign of road clothes and filled those potholes and make a quite great and graceful garden. And now there was no pothole on the road like a gaping mouth. In its place was a lovely little garden. Soon a large crowd gathered. People stopped to look. The children from the kindergarten stopped to look. When traffic passed by, drivers smiled and slowed down. They drove carefully round the garden. Now everyone see this is the problem of our society. Once when there was a pothole, everyone was getting in trouble but no one was giving a damn to fill them up, to write a letter to municipal, to help other people but they used to get into trouble themselves and they don't even bother it. A young girl who smartly managed the whole situation and filled those potholes with soil and make a quite graceful and beautiful garden. Lovely little garden, right? And now everyone has time to stop by, to praise the girl and to watch the pothole which is now a little garden. So the next morning a man with a camera arrived. He took lots of photos of Pfizer's pothole garden. Shortly after that, the picture appeared in the newspaper. The chief of police arrived to have a look. Even the mayor came just to see that beautiful little garden. So, from this story, what have we learned everyone? We have learned that when nobody is helping around, we need to help ourselves. We don't need to wait for somebody to come and help us, right? We have to be very quick and smart and at least sensible enough to help other people without wasting a single moment. With, like the way Faiza done, she has done wonderful and great job, right? So this story was written by Nicholas Horsberg and he, he has done a great job. I literally loved the way he portrayed the issue of society and a young girl helping all the all of them just by making a small little garden, right? Paisa's little garden was moved to the side of the road, the pothole was finally filled and a shiny new surface was put on the road. The garden today is called Faiza's garden and it is full of lovely flowering shrubs. Which means still Faiza's little garden is there and now road is clear. It is now smooth enough so that people can live up smoothly without any troubles. Well done Mr. Nicholas Hasberg. You have written a quite an amazing story. Right everybody? That's all for today's video. Take care. Bye-bye.